All right, YouTube, your boy Slim is back with another cigar review, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, YouTube, today I am going to be smoking on the Kin Kintsugi. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is from Alec and Bradley. And like I said before, I really don't smoke too many of Alec and Bradley, but uh, hopefully we'll change that up. Hmm. Getting nothing but wood. Yeah, just some woody notes, not even uh, too much in a pepper. <clears throat> and I actually saw, I think it was, uh, Ashhead and uh, Ron Real, they reviewed this too. But, um, all right, so this is the Alec and Bradley Kintsugi, and it says this is off half wool. Like so many other things in 2020, it's been delayed because of the coronavirus. The new line is the third time a product has been branded Alec and Bradley and not of Alec and Bradley. Ruben, the two people for which Alec and Bradley is named. The Kintsugi uses a Habano wrapper from the Tro Trojas region of Honduras, binders from Honduras and Nicaraguan, and fillers from Honduras and Nicaraguan. It's produced at the Reese's Cubanas factory in Honduras. And it comes in four different Vatoas. This is the Robusta. Well, actually, I believe this may be the Corona Gordo. This is five and a half by 46. But either way, I'm still gonna smoke it. Like I always say, it's my favorite part of the day. So let's go ahead and get some cut up. Tight draw. Yeah, really tight draw. But I'm still on these cedar sticks. Mm, get light up really getting nothing but an earthy note but um yeah earthy but i'm gonna let it warm up some and then i get back to you with my initial thoughts all right so i'm back it's warmed up some got a pretty good uh light on there a little wavy right now but um getting the faint pepper Definitely uh, spicy on the uh, the retro, mm. but um, other than that, I'm just getting like a uh, some type of sweetness and uh, that woody earthy note. I mean, that's it right now. Uh, maybe some of that cedar, but then again, I lit it with a cedar stick. But um, other than that, uh, not too much right now. But uh, I'll let it warm up, get into that first third, and I'll get back to you uh, with my initial thoughts on it. All right, all right, YouTube, I am back on this. Uh, Kintsugi, and uh, one thing I've noticed, this is a long band, a very long band. Um, sorry about that, I got my iPad in here, I don't even know if you can hear, but um, <clears throat> as I said, this is a very long band, but um, pretty much what I'm getting right now is, uh, it's still earthy and woody, it's a faint on the pepper, it's definitely a medium cigar, but um, the, uh, the finish is uh, pretty creamy and smooth, not getting much on there, but a little bit of sweetness that's lingering, you know what I'm saying, on the lips. But um, other than that, really not much going on right now through that first third, you know, just uh, earthy, earthy and woody and uh, probably getting some, I don't know, maybe like some cinnamon and some type of sugar. But it's a, it's a really good cigar right now, It's a, but it's not too complex at the beginning, but um, I'm gonna try to take off both of these bands, well, at least one of them, get into that second third and I'll get back with you on my uh, flavor notes. But I think I gave you this in the beginning. I got this from Neptune Cigar and it's gonna run you about $7. 
and there's some other information that are on here about like the history of the cigar but um I'll keep on smoking it down, get into that second, third, and I'll definitely drop this uh, description and everything like that in the video so you have it. But um, it's a good cigar right now, so I'll keep on smoking it down and I'll get back with you on my flavor notes. All right, YouTube, I am back on this Kintsugi by Alec Bradley. And um, as you can see, the burn line's a little bit wavy, having some issues with the wrapper right here, but um, <clears throat> it may just be the humidity since I'm out here in the lab. But um, pretty much what I'm getting is that uh, it's a faint earthy and uh, like woody note. You're still getting that uh, like kind of nutmeg taste in there, some of that slight sweetness. You know, I'm not sure uh, like what it is, but you're getting like that sugar note too. But um, what I'm, I guess I'm seeing is that it's not too, uh, not too complex of a cigar. You know right now but um what i'll do is uh i'll um sorry i was looking at something but um what i'll do i'll keep on smoking it down get into that last third and i'll get back with you on uh my flavor notes all right all right youtube i am back on this uh kintsugi and um pretty much going into that last third that um I mean, the retro is still light. You know, you're getting uh, that earthy woody note still on there. Kind of a slight pepper, not too much. But um, I mean, pretty much the flavor notes are uh, the same as I said they were in the second third. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna drag out the video, but um, pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'll get my notes together and then I'll get back with you on my final thoughts. All right, YouTube, my final thoughts on this Alec and Bradley Kintsugi is that um, it's a it's a pretty average cigar, but it's a good cigar. As far as the strength, um, it's going to be a medium cigar pretty much all the way through, you know, from the first third all the way to the last. And I really didn't pick up too many changes on it. As far as the flavor notes, you're going to get some... Uh, some sugar sweetness in there. You're gonna get a little bit of cinnamon, some nutmeg. You're gonna get some earthy notes, some woody notes. And there might be some other stuff in there. I just couldn't pull it out, you know what I mean? But um, I don't know, maybe just today is not my day, but um, that's pretty much all the flavor notes I got on that. As far as the construction, I had to touch it up twice. The draw was excellent though. I didn't have any issues with that. I didn't have to use my uh, perfect draw on it or whatever, but um, burn was really good but as i said i had to touch it up twice you know and as far as the price for the time it's going to run you about seven dollars and go anywhere from like an hour or more depending on you know how you smoke but um other than that i mean i think it's a good cigar and at that price and you can uh, put it in one of those ranges where you can say hey you know what that's an everyday cigar you know what i mean it's not going to hurt your wallet or anything like that you can uh, definitely get like a box or a five pack like i said i got that one off of a neptune cigar so i'll definitely be smoking it again i just wouldn't be getting like a, a five pack or a box you know that's just pretty much that's that's just not my thing all the time. Like every time I smoke a cigar, I'm not gonna get a box. But um, other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? And uh, somewhere down here, there's a notification bell. So uh, make sure you hit that too. So anytime I drop a new video, you know what I'm saying? You get that, uh, get notified. But um, other than that, that's all the smoke on the Alec and Bradley Kintsugi. All right.